Hey everyone, TechnoMint here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone if it keeps on restarting. You want to follow all these steps to fix it, so let's get started. Now, when it comes to iPhone restarting, there are a ton of reasons why this is happening, so you want to follow these steps one by one to rule them all out, so let's get started. The very first thing is you want to follow this step, which is you're going to quickly press and release the volume up, quickly press and release the volume down. Then hold on to the side button until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo appears. So I'll quickly press and release the volume up, volume down, and then I hold on to the side button. Just keep on doing it until the screen goes completely black. As you can see here, I am holding down that side button and we're gonna wait until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo reappears. So I'll do that and then let go. Now if it doesn't work the very first time, just keep on trying it if it's the very first time. You just need to get the hang of it, which is quickly pressing and releasing volume up, volume down, and then holding on to the side. But this method will not delete any of your data. It's just basically a forced restart, which is shuts down the phone software and reloads the code. Now, after you have done that, the next troubleshooting step to do is to make sure all of your apps are up to date. In order to do that, just go to the App Store. Uh, make sure you're, of course, connected to the internet. So you go to the App Store, and once you're in the App Store, you're going to tap on your profile and then you'll see there's update. You want to go ahead and update all of the apps that you have. And the reason why is sometimes the app could be causing the phone to crash. So click on update now or individually you can go ahead and update them. But you want to update all of your app. Now another thing to kind of note is if you recently installed an app and this is happening, it could be a faulty app. In that case, I recommend removing any recent app that you added. So if you go on the very last page, it'll tell you basically recently added apps, which you can tap and see which one you recently added. And I would recommend is just removing them. So if I press and hold delete, delete the app, just to make sure it's not that app that is causing the phone to shut down. Now, another thing you wanna do is make sure your phone has free space available. So in your settings, go to settings, general, and then go to iPhone storage, which will be right up here. And then you gotta make sure you have at least five gigs or more available right here I have 85 gig it says the reason why it is whenever you're opening up apps or just launching different uh, program on your app it requires that you have some space available if it doesn't it just panics and then causes to restart trying to fix itself so five gigs or more I recommend highly if you need to delete some stuff like usually you can delete some photos videos apps to clear up some space but you want to have some free space available now along with that, the next troubleshooting step that you want to do, going back to the main setting is, you want to take a look at the battery health here. So tap on battery, and you want to make sure it says normal, or basically your battery is in something that needs to be serviced. Here I have a brand, brand new phone, so it looks normal 100%, but in a case that this has gone down significantly, or it says need service, you might consider replacing the battery, and it could be the reason why it's being uh, forcing it to shut down itself. Now another thing to consider is going to be, your charge port as well. So you're gonna make sure there's no dust or lint collecting in there. Sometimes those things could interfere with the charging and the power on your phone. So you're gonna make sure, take a flashlight, uh, maybe some kind of uh, pick, basically something non-invasive, you don't wanna break anything. Just make sure there's no lint or dust or blow it out, uh, blow and to make sure they get all of that out. Now along with that is if you have now a phone that has a physical SIM card, uh, you might consider taking the physical SIM card tray out and just reinserting it back in. So I have a SIM ejector tool or you can take a e, uh, paper clip. Basically it's going to be on your left hand side or right hand side. You're going to look for this hole where you can put it in there and then pop out the SIM card just like that. All right? It's going to be a SIM card now if you only have a phone with the SIM card and just put it back in. And that will help it reinitialize making sure it's not a SIM card issue that's causing the phone to panic here and turn off. So that's gonna be another thing to check out. Now if you have like this phone is a fill eSIM, you won't be able to do that. So don't worry about that. Moving on to the next troubleshooting step you wanna do is go into your setting on your iPhone, go to general, go all the way down where it says transfer reset iPhone, tap on that, reset, and you're gonna to need to do a reset of all settings. So when you do a reset of all settings, basically it resets settings uh, like your Apple cards, keys, and passwords will be removed, but data on your phone will not get deleted like photos, videos, apps, all of that will be there. 
what it resets is like things like network settings, keyboard dictionary setting, handwriting, style, home screen layout, and privacy and location settings. Sometimes these settings after update messes up the phone and it could be causing the phone to keep on restarting. So you wanna do that as well. Now, after you have done that and let's say it's not working, the next thing to do is go into your settings, go to general software update and see if there's update. Now, sometimes there's a bug fixes that could help you fix it. Like as you can see here, this one says fixes bugs. So you're gonna go ahead and update your phone like this. Now, if you can't update it because it shuts off. Now, the next method to do is putting your phone in DFU mode and basically doing an update through your computer, which I'll leave a link for it as that takes a little bit of time to do, but something you wanna do where you can update the phone through the plugging it into a computer by putting it in restore mode or the DFU mode, which I'll leave a link for. Now, another thing to keep in mind is that if your phone recently got uh, liquid damage like water or got wet and stuff you want to make sure it dries off by putting it somewhere without using it i recommend do not charge if you recently got your phone wet you want it to air dry for a couple hours till it's completely dry and then try using it and that should also fix it and sometimes if it's really bad water or liquid damage it could be just an issue where it messes up the actual internal hardware in that case you might need a replacement device in that case to the Apple store where they can check it out to see if it's water damage or if it needs to be replaced. So I hope this video was helpful. So please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices. We'll see you guys next time.